Pastor Ed here with my 5 for 5 daily devotions for Thursday, November the 24th, which of course is Thanksgiving. So I thought I'd do a little something a little bit different for Thanksgiving and talk about Thanksgiving. Um, apparently, statistically, 91% of Americans have turkey for the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, and somebody once went to look at uh, the online, the Butterball Turkey online help page and found some of the problems that people have had with their turkeys. Um, uh, a woman in her 70s, apparently cooking Thanksgiving dinner for the first time, called the helpline because her mother said it was time she learned how to prepare the Thanksgiving meal in her 70s. Um, Another gentleman called to tell the staff how he wrapped his turkey in a towel, laid it on the floor, and then stomped on it, breaking the bones so it would fit into his pan. Um, another gentleman called to tell the operator that he cut his turkey in half with a chainsaw. He wanted to know if the oil from the chainsaw would adversely affect the turkey. Uh, a disappointed woman called, wondering why her turkey had no breast meat. And after a conversation with uh, an operator, it became apparent that the woman's Turkey was lying upside down. Uh, one mom called in and told the helpline operator about how her little girl had asked if they could slow roast the turkey for three or four days because she liked how it made the house smell. The experts at Butterball Turkey uh, told her that the turkey should only stay in the oven for a few hours, that it wasn't a good idea to leave it cooking for four days. A um, man called the, the Butterball Turkey hotline one time, uh, after he discovered a turkey from 1969 uh, to ask about the best way to, pr pr to cook this 30-year-old uh, uh, plus. At this, I think this is a few years ago. Uh, at that point, uh, uh, more like 40-year-old turkey. Uh, although the talk line staffer recommended the open roasting pan method to cook most turkeys, uh, this time suggested that the first step was to probably purchase a fresher fowl. Uh, and finally, uh, when a talk line uh, help, uh, Butterball talk line help person uh, asked a caller, what state is your turkey in? Meaning how thawed it was. And the caller responded, Florida. Anyway, uh, Irma Bombeck once said, Thanksgiving dinners take 18 hours to prepare. They are then consumed in 12 minutes. Why? Because that's about the length of a halftime of the football game on Thanksgiving Day. And finally, uh, one Thanksgiving, a uh, family was seated around their table looking at the annual holiday bird. And from the oldest to the youngest, they were to express their praise and thanks. And when they came to the five-year-old in the family, he began by looking at the turkey and expressing his thanks to the turkey, saying that he had not tasted it, but he knew it would be good. And after that rather novel expression, uh, he began with a more predictable line of credits, thanking his mother for cooking the turkey and his father for buying the turkey. But then he even went beyond that. Uh, he joined together a whole hidden multitude of benefactors, linking them with cause and effect. He said, I thank you for the checker at the grocery store who checked out the turkey. I thank you for the grocery store people who put it on the shelf. I thank you for the farmer who made it fat. I thank you for the man who made the feed that made it fat. I thank you for those who brought the turkey to the store. And using his Columbo-like little mind, he traced the turkey all the way from its origins to his plate. And then at the end, he solemnly said, did I leave anybody out? And his two-year-old brother, embarrassed by what the five-year-old was saying, uh, answered, did any, I leave anybody out? The little guy said, God. Um, and solemnly without being flustered at all, the five-year-old said, well, I was about to get to him. Uh, isn't that the question uh, someone once asked that we all ought to be thinking about at Thanksgiving time? Um, who should we thank? Billy Graham, you probably heard of him. His daughter, Ann Graham, uh, once wrote this prayer. And on that, this note, I'll, I'll end the devotion for today. She said, Lord, thank you for this Thanksgiving day. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestow on us each and every day. Thank you for the little things we overlook from day to day. Lord, I pray you feed the ones today who are less fortunate. Draw up real close to them and let them know how very precious you are. 
I pray, Lord, for the ones who are down and out today. Lord, put your loving arms around them and draw them up close to you and show them your love. Thank you for each one around this table, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the ones who prepared this food in your loving name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I hope you have family and, and friends or whoever you're together with that you enjoy uh, good time, good fellowship, good food. And in the midst of all that, remember to thank God for all of it. Until tomorrow, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.